guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs, and thank you for watching this video. Now, today's tutorial on Photoshop, which is kind of how to create these boxes that are often used on the side of modules. As you see here, I've got my boxes going down the page. I'll kind of be showing how to do the first one just here. Um, if I go to one of my videos, the wires tutorial on how to create wires, if YouTube decides to load, wrong video, no, right video. I'm in a mess. Anyway, next tutorial, these boxes people put on the side of their modules. Um, that's got 10 thumbs up, so I'm going to make a tutorial on this. Uh, so it's probably the most requested thing I've got at the moment. So, without further ado, in fact, I've got my new B background here, just so I can flip through the tabs and see what I'm doing. But, yes, that is practice. And I'm going to go to file new, 12 by 7 20 m white. And I'm just going to make a rectangle here, which I'm going to use green, like so. And I'm just going to drag it up like here. Now, what this green rectangle is, this the side running along the left-hand side here, is in correlation with this blue box going along the left-hand side here. So the boxes will go on the left of this green, just so you know, just so they have to work on a background. It makes it easier for me. Just hope you can understand that. Anyway, one thing I like to do is I like to put an outer glow on this, on the uh, box I just made. So you can go to outer glow, double click on it, outer glow, normal, change your color to black. Maybe increase the size just a tad and lower the opacity. There we go. And so let's get started. Just make a new layer. And I'm going to uh, rectangle tool. I'm going to change the colour to grey. Uh, I'm going for kind of the grey out box first, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, start to drag it out. Uh, how big you want it? Uh, that's about the size for me. Bear in mind it'll be cut out a bit because they're kind of having a diagonal cut along it. Uh, you need to drag this layer below the rectangle layer. Make sure it's below your middle bit, uh, depending on what kind of thing you're using. And then on that layer, you want to go right click and go to rasterize layer. And I like to go to the pen tool. If I start down on this bottom corner here, I want my A up. So click in the corner, just beyond the corner to be on the safe side. Hold shift and roughly at a 45 degree angle, kind of kind of just click out here, like so. Now we've got the basic line. You want to want this side to be cut out. So just go around this side. Go right click in there. Go make selection. Okay, and hit the delete key on your keyboard. And there you go. You've got the kind of cut out square. Go to edit free transform. And I'm just going to make it a bit bigger because you know um, it, it seemed a bit small. Yeah. Anyway, I was thinking about saying that's what she said, but nah, not worth it. Let's go add some layer styles to this box now. Right click, blending options. Go and add a gradient overlay. Change it to zero. And I change the colours to a grey. Yeah, just some different greys, just kind of mix it up a bit so it's not as bland. Yeah, I'm not trying to get out of kind of the layer styles in this tutorial, so I'm going to kind of quickly run through it. Uh, I made one that's maybe a bit light. There we go. Okay, and okay, and that's looking good. I'm just going to add an outer glow, change it to normal, and I'm going to change the colour to black. I'm going to increase the size just a tad and lower the opacity. There we go, maybe a bit more. I'm going to add a stroke. I'm going to go to the size to 1. And I'm going to change the colour more to along a darkish grey as opposed to a black. And I'm just going to add a bevel and emboss. Drag the opacity of the black shadow mode to 0. And the white, I'm just going to mess with the angle. Just to kind of get them... Nice lines going along. See what looks good, you know, mess about with it. Uh, that'll do. Click OK. And there you have it, you've got the first diagonal box with the layer styles. Click Control J, and this basically means you've got two copies of them. On the top copy, you want to go back onto blending, mo blending modes, layer styles rather. Go to Color Overlay, and you just want to change it to red for now. It really doesn't matter. Just so it's a different colour from the grey, so you can see what when you're working on. Edit, free transform, shift and alt, 
drag them down in the corner and just line it up in the middle kind of so it's even on all sides like so I think arrow keys are best because my mouse is really dodgy there we go and that's looking about right you know you can spend your time lining that up perfectly but that's ah, not for this tutorial so I'm just going to change the colours, I don't want red, I want it to be green. So one little trick that I like to do, instead of going to gradient overlay and changing it to green, I go to colour overlay, change the colour to kind of like limeish green, and change the blend mode to overlay. And that's looking well, maybe a bit of a darker green in fact, it's looking a bit weak. And that's not looking like green, hmm, it didn't really work with green if I'm honest. Hmm. Anyway. That's looking about good, but as you notice, it kind of looks as though this second layer is going on top of the silver box. This is not the look I'm going for. I'm going to be like subject, and it's kind of an inner bevel. So I'm going to untick outer glow and tick inner shadow. Just lower the distance and increase the size. And that is looking quite nice. That looks like it's more long, more as if it's inside. Maybe take off the beveling and boss. That's, that looks like it's more inside the grey, the grey box. Mhm. Mm maybe stroke. You can maybe increase the stroke to two, just so you can kind of get more of a feel for it. There we go. And just go to pan overlay, and then we use meta mash patterns or Spider Man. I was going to use the first one, and I'm going to. You need to lower down the opacity of the gradients just so you can see it and I'm going to lower down the scale so there's more of them and that's looking about right and that's looking good for the first box and that's kind of what we're going to be covering really that's about it uh, right click on them two layers of the green box and the silver box right click go to merge layers control J that will duplicate them go to edit transform and horizontal hold shift and drag over to the other side and you know it's as simple as that really uh, that's how to kind of create the boxes uh, the same will really applies to the rest of them you know it's quite simple um, and maybe touch on some more advanced ones like these and um, there are many different styles that I've used in other backgrounds uh, you know if you want a more advanced tutorial on this uh, please leave a comment uh, in the video but no that's about it from me I uh, hope you maybe learn something, hope you kind of use this. Uh, kind of make them ori maybe original in your own way because they are quite common. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.